Hey guys, so we have this otter sled that we bought at the beginning of the winter and we wanted to get a Siglin, but uh, if you've ever seen the prices on the Siglin sleds, you'll know that we why we got the otter. Uh, I've only used this a couple of times because I started breaking everything and we didn't end up hauling what we thought we were gonna. But uh, what I found out right away is that, you know, there's a reason why these sleds are only a couple hundred bucks. You put a bunch of stuff in it and uh, you know, those hooks weren't there when we bought it, obviously. You know, all you have to tie down to is this and we have to go up and down a bunch of hills and bumps and stuff, so that wasn't good. So what my landlord came up with, because my landlord is a mechanical genius, was just to reinforce it. So I just took a couple of two foot sections of two by four and then another 12 inch section of two by four back there. I left a little space to give it some flex, but just ran the two by four underneath the little rail, secured it with some 5 16 bolts, washers, nuts, and then unshouldered eye bolts. That's it. And then up here, I used shorter eye bolts because I didn't want them poking out of the bottom, but same thing, two by four, 5 16 bolts, and just reinforce it all the way around. And now, when you put your junk in there, you can strap it, and we don't have to haul our uh, we'll be able to tow a sled again. We won't have to haul our fuel next to our water and groceries and stuff when we go to the cabin. So I put the Hyfax kit on today too. So I get to test that out the next time I take this back out. But I don't know if you're having a problem with your uh, outer sled and have stuff falling out, tipping over all the time. You might think about doing something like this. Thanks guys.